Cheers. Tony Fenner, with the very sad news, you are calling it a day. I'll come out and ask it, plain and simple, why? Really, really tough decision, but I think you just, you just know as a player that it's time and you know, the, the biggest thing when you play professional sport is being able to leave on your own terms. And my heart's saying, carry on playing, but the rest of my body's saying, I think it's time. I'm gonna assume the answer to this is no, but has it been an easy decision or has there been a little bit of back and forth at least? It's never an easy decision. Um, especially the fact that I still feel that I can play. It's just, you look at players that kind of get forced out of the game and I don't, I don't want to be one of them. I want to be able to, as I said on the last question, leave on my own terms and being able to play with your, your kids when you get older and stuff like that. So, yeah. You talk about leaving on your own terms and something that you said to me once that always really stuck with me was that you'd rather retire a year too early than a year too late. And would you say that's about right? Yeah, I want to be able to leave, you know, with the good memories and I've got some great memories and, and I, as, as I say, my body's still, still intact and that's, that's the main thing for me, walking away. Now we had a chat upstairs earlier this season when you reached your 100th game for the club. Are you relieved, are you chuffed to sort of tick off that milestone before saying, yeah, that's me? Yeah, it was, it was in the back of my head for a long time, you know. Um, I said it in that interview that it's taken longer than it should have done and I'm just so glad I got there, you know. You've been lucky enough to play all over the globe. When you look back now on what was a tremendous career, what will be the real takeaways from it? I think it's, it's the people you meet in rugby. It's, you know, I was fortunate enough to meet my wife while, while playing in New Zealand and now we've got a, a wonderful son. You know, I've, I've met people all around the world that I'm able to call lifelong friends. For me, the thing I take away from rugby is the people you meet and, and are able to call your friends for the rest of your life. You know, that, that's something that the sport is so special for. So now the big question, and probably the hardest one to answer, I'd imagine, is what does the next chapter of life look like for Tony Fenner? There's a, there's a few things in the pipeline. You know, I've really, really enjoyed doing the coaching on the side. So I think at the moment I'll be, I'll be exploring that avenue and hopefully I can pass on to the, to the next generation. Now, obviously, Coventry isn't the only place that you've played your rugby, but it is where you're going to be ending your career. Have you got a final message to the club and what it's meant for you to play here? Yeah, I don't really know where to start with it, really. It's um, probably just a massive thank you. I've enjoyed... I've enjoyed every single minute of it. John Sharp has given me a fantastic opportunity to be here. I can't thank all the coaches, teammates, supporters. You know, I'm always so welcomed and Coventry will, will all be, always be my, my home. And finally, just on a personal note, as someone that's been lucky enough to share just a fraction of your incredible career with you, thank you for everything that you've brought to the game and a massive, massive good luck for whatever your future may bring. Thank you, mate. No worries. Cheers. 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 Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate.